Hey guys, welcome to another New World video. In today's video, I thought we could once again have a closer look at fishing. As many of you know, I have over the past year made more than a few fishing videos, and in them, I've tried to cover everything. The issue, however, is I made them with a certain intention in mind in each case, like catching snails, catching oysters, or whatever. And it has led to me getting many, many questions around other fish, and other types of hotspots. So although, all of the information I am about to cover is out there in my older videos in one shape or form, I thought maybe it would be a good time to put it all together and update it in one place. So in this video I will cover everything fishing, how to level it, the gear, the luck, and how to make coin doing it. And yes, you can make coin fishing. So let's get into it. So why even level fishing? Well, fishing in New World is probably one of the most satisfying activities in the game. Although it has a ton of room to improve, it still remains one of the best life skills you can engage in. You can spend literally hours fishing and enjoy every moment. From the actual great mechanics surrounding the Cassian railing system, to the just relaxing feeling you get doing it. Fishing in New World also is a remarkably profitable skill that is often overlooked, which I have always found strange. From things like snail slime, to piranhas, to fish row, even the fillets, this skill can be a great change farming and still make you a ton of coin. I know it's easy to just disregard fishing and say it isn't worth it, but when you're leveling furnishing, arcana, or cooking, then you will quickly understand just how needed this skill is. So, how do you level fishing exactly? Well, some might say, just walk up to water and cast, it's that simple, and start fishing. And although they wouldn't necessarily be wrong, this won't be the best way, or even close to the fastest. But before we get into more efficient ways to level fishing, there are a few things you need to understand about it first. There are three things that you need to keep in mind while setting out to level fishing. These will make a huge difference in how fast you level the skill to 200, even reducing the time it will take by 30 or even 50%. First, the rarity of the fish. This is important because when catching fish, the rarity of the fish will be the first thing that will impact the amount of experience you gain when you catch it. A common fish will net you around 100 experience. An uncommon fish will increase this to around 150 to 160 experience and a rare fish, this will then increase it again to 175 up to 200 experience. And of course, legendary fish and treasure chests. These will be the big ones, pumping this up to 500 to 550 experience. Now, the reason there is a range and not an exact number is because of the second variable that will come into the amount of experience you get for each fish, and that is the size. For common fish, you can increase the base experience by up to 17% if you catch a large fish, 8% for an uncommon fish if caught large, and for a rare, 13% for large. And finally, to a much lesser degree, your time spent fishing from 1 to 200 will be impacted by the time it takes for fish to bite your hook after you cast. This can take up to 15 seconds if you simply cast into open water as I mentioned in the beginning, but can be reduced using bait. And if you're fishing in a hotspot, this will greatly be reduced further. So if your goal is to level fishing as quickly as possible, be sure to keep all of this in mind. So, if not in open water, where? There are basically two options when looking to level fishing. This is, of course, if you're wanting to level it very quickly and efficiently. The first will be to find an uncontested, out-of-the-way two-star hotspot. Get comfortable and fish. Then, when you empty this hotspot, just continue to fish here until it respawns. Two-star hotspots will always be the most time-efficient place to level, simply because of the amount of fish they yield combined with the time they take to respawn. For example, a 3-star hotspot will yield up to 10 rare fish and take roughly 40 to 90 minutes to respawn, where a 2-star will yield 25 uncommon or rare fish and only take 30 to 60 minutes to respawn. So it's simply a matter of numbers. You will catch more uncommon and rare fish per hour if fishing in a 2-star hotspot area than of course you would in a 3. So this is of course the preferred way to level fishing, because you're at the hotspot, meaning the moment it respawns you will be here. You will always get it before anyone else and you will level quite quickly. Now for the second way, and to be honest the way I leveled my fishing, is to be a bit more proactive and aggressive. What you will want to do in this option is look at your resource map and find zones with multiple hotspots close together, or close to shrines, that are within your level range. Then map out a route, hopping between them. Then as you level you will unlock even more hotspots. Then you will increase your route including those on it, and so on. This is ultimately the fastest way you can level fishing. However, if you're on a server where fishing is popular, you will run into the issue of hotspots being depleted by their players, and of course, fishing areas being contested, which will then make it the worst way to level fishing. So ultimately it's up to you and how you like to play, chilling at one spot or running between them. Either way will work, but what's most important while leveling fishing is to remember it's fishing. So as long as you're relaxed and enjoying it, you're doing it right, regardless of what anyone says. So, now that you're 200 fishing, let's have a look at fishing luck. This will be very important when you start fishing to make coin or particular resources. 
Fishing luck in New World is very different than other lucks in the game. I often see videos where people say, throw on your fishing luck gear and fish, and this always makes me wince a little bit, because it absolutely is incorrect. When you understand exactly how fishing luck works, you can then specifically target fish greatly increasing your profit, and alternately, simply throwing on luck without understanding it can even completely lock you out of certain things you may be after. So first, let's start with how much luck you're getting, and from where. The first place you'll get fishing luck will be your fishing pool. A wooden pole will provide you with zero luck. A treated wood pole will provide you with 2,500 luck. An aged wood pole will provide you with 7,500 luck. A weird wood pole will provide you with 10,000 luck. And an ironwood or legendary pole will provide you with 12,500 luck. Now, it's important for me to say here, keep in mind that at the moment, poles are not working. While equipped, you're not receiving the luck they provide. However, this is a new bug and I see it being fixed very soon, or at least I hope so. So in order to future-proof this guide, I have included it here. I just wanted to point this out in case you notice some unusual results while fishing. Next, the perks on your rod. These will also add to your fishing luck. You have Lucky Day and Lucky Night 1 giving you 3,000 luck, Lucky Day and Lucky Night 2 giving you 5,000 luck, and Lucky Day and Lucky Night 3 giving you 7,500 luck. Next, some of the bait you will choose to use will also provide you with fishing luck. Bread and cheese baits will give you 4,700 fishing luck. Woodlouse and Nightcrawler will provide you with 7,000 fishing luck. And Firefly and Glowworm will provide you with 8,500 fishing luck. Now for the perks that you will find on your armor. These can also be a source of fishing luck. But I will say here, improving the gear score of your armor using Umbral Shards won't increase these. It has no effect over the fishing perks. Lucky Waters 1 will provide you with 1,000 luck. Lucky Waters 2 will provide you with 1,500 fishing luck and Lucky Waters 3 will provide you with 2,000 fishing luck. And these, of course, do stack, so you can have them on all or multiple pieces of your armor at once. Next, we have our fishing trophies. The Miner providing you with 2,500 fishing luck, the Basic 3,500 fishing luck, and the Major 5,000 fishing luck. You can, of course, have three of these, one in each of your homes, and they do stack now. Now, I know the tooltip on the major trophy says 9,000 fishing luck, but this is an old tooltip that was never changed when they applied the patch fixing the fishing trophies. It is 5,000, I can assure you. And finally, while fishing in any hotspot, you will be awarded a luck bonus just for fishing there passively. This is different depending on the tier of the hotspot. So for one star, you won't receive any fishing luck bonus. For 2 star, 159,900 fishing luck. And for 3 star, 243,300 fishing luck. This is important to know moving forward. And finally, there is a song you can play with the new musician skill that will also provide you with 500 additional fishing luck. So, what does all this mean? Well, let's have a look at exactly how fishing luck interacts with the system and how it decides what fish you will catch. Then maybe it will all make perfect sense. So first, let's look at the loot tables for hotspots and open water. So this is the loot table for all the hotspots. This is the same for 1 star through 3 star. The only thing that changes when you fish in a hotspot, depending on the tier, is the amount of luck provided by the hotspot as I said earlier. And there is a loot table for open water as well. As you can see, in open water you are looking at a different roll range, 100,000, where in the hotspots it's 300,000. And in open water your only fishing luck sources are your gear, trophies, rod, and bait. You're awarded no base luck bonus like in hotspots. Okay, so to better explain this, first I will say, when we are dealing with rolls on fishing loot tables, we are using a clamp max roll. What does this mean, you're probably asking? Well, what this means, if your fishing luck is 5,000, we are rolling 5,001 to 100,000. Instead of an add to roll system, where we commonly see our roll becoming 5,001 to 105,000. Because fishing uses this system, it puts us in a very unique position in New World to eliminate things completely off of our loot table, increasing the odds we will catch what we are after. Or in the worst case, if we don't understand it, we might accidentally eliminate things and spend all day fishing and never catch what we were after. Let's use a 3 star hotspot as an example. Let's say you wanted to catch oysters or paddlefish. So you didn't know any of this and took the advice of your favorite streamer, tossed on your best in slot fishing gear, hung your trophies, grabbed some glowworm bait, and got your music buff then headed out to a 3 star hotspot in reek water. I mean, he said that's what to do, right? More luck is always better, right? Well, very quickly, you would be very disappointed and would have wasted your playtime. Because assuming you have all best in slot for luck, you will, while fishing in a 3 star hotspot, now be running with 297,300 luck. That means your roll with every cast is 297,301 to 300,000. So, let's take a look at the 3 star loot table once again. So, the way this works is like this. You see these numbers here? 
They represent the roll ranges where you will receive these types of fish. But if your floor on your roll, in this case 297,301, is above the threshold of the fish type, it eliminates the possibility of you receiving that type of fish. You simply can't roll in that range. Does this make sense? So, how will you catch oysters when your base roll is much higher than 265,683? Well, you can't. That's just it. The only things you now qualify to roll for are treasure chests and legendary fish on about a 70-30 split in favor of the treasure chests. This is why knowing the luck thresholds and how much luck you have is very important. So, setting yourself up to catch rare fish or legendary fish much, much more often is simply a case of doing the math and stacking the gear in an appropriate amount to try to narrow your rolls. This will eliminate any lower rarities from the equation. So, for example, if I wanted to maximize my luck for this example, catching rare fish in 3-star hotspots, I would want to have no more than 22,500 fishing luck on my gear. Because when you add this to the 243,300 that we're receiving from the 3-star passively, I would get 265,800 fishing luck with my gear. And if we took a look at the chart again, we can see that the range for rare fish is 265,683 to 287,821. So we have eliminated common and uncommon fish from our loot table completely. However, we still may pull in the odd treasure chest or legendary, but we have focused our fishing luck in such a way to make catching rares far more frequent. This can also be applied to two-star hotspots. And let's use a different example. This time, let's say we're after sturgeon or snails. They're both uncommon, so they will be the same. So, because when we fish in a two-star hotspot, we are granted 159,900 passive fishing luck. We will need to use no fishing luck whatsoever. You see, the range for uncommon fish is 132,841 to 265,682. So, if we put on any luck gear, we will not improve our chances. We will actually reduce our chances. So, in these cases, this is where you will switch your gear and aim for size over luck. So now that we understand how fishing luck works, and how to level our fishing, how can we use all of this knowledge to make some coin? Well, there are a bunch of ways. First, your chests you catch. These won't make you rich by any means, but also are nothing to scoff at, containing gems ranging in all tiers. If you catch enough of these, it will definitely add up. But there are, of course, much better ways. First, oysters. These can make you a ton of coin in two ways. First, the pearls, of course, for making musical instruments. These always sell very well and very fast, and go upwards of 400 coin each. And, of course, the pristine pearls. These are used to add luck to gear when socketed, and generally sell for 80 to 150 coins per pearl. Then you have snails. These are salvaged to snail slime, used for making drums. This stuff sells anywhere from 20 coin to 500 coin per, depending on the server and availability. This also goes for catfish. These salvage to whiskers, used to make guitar strings. These will always sell quite well, much like the slime. The simple fillets you harvest from fish are valuable even, with delicate fillets selling upward of 10 coin per. Fishing for sturgeon or paddlefish will yield roe, which is worth huge amounts ranging from 200 to 400 coin per depending on the server. And of course many of the legendary fish are used for attribute cooking recipes. These sell extremely high, especially the strength fish caught in Cutlass Key's 3 star hotspots, so will be worth farming. And this is only scratching the surface. The idea that there is no coin to be made fishing is crazy and completely untrue. The earning potential in this skill, if done correctly, is massive. Well guys, I think that about covers it. If you have any more questions, please feel free to leave them in the comments if I forgot to mention anything at all. And as always guys, thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next one.